In this video, we're going to be talking about Rambu potentially stealing a nuke from Snowchester. Now, before we get into it, please make sure you are subscribed. A ton of people have been getting unsubbed from YouTube channels, which is just not great. So just checking helps me out a lot. With that being said, enjoy the video. Turbo started off his stream titled Times Are Changing, and he logs onto the SMP whilst he's in Snowchester, talking about how the SMP has gotten a lot more dangerous ever since the revival book has been shown to work, and saying that the SMP is no longer safe due to people just being able to come back from the dead. With this being said, he goes down into his vault to show off that he has all of Dream's old armour and weapons. He's heard from Tommy that Dream plans to escape the prison and, well, nobody knows how to yet, but if he ever does escape, well, he's going to be looking for his armour, and Turbo has that. So maybe he could use this as a sort of bait or something like that. Eventually, he's gonna come back for it. For those of you that don't know, this is all of Dream's belongings before he was killed twice. All of them. Original shield, bow, apples, god apples, totems, and set of armor. And if what Tommy says is correct, Dream is going to be breaking out of prison. I don't know how, and honestly, I don't even know if it's possible, but I think he's going to get out. Tommy seems pretty adamant that he's going to get out. It's about time we rearm our nuclear weapons. Tubbo then goes to Jack Manifold's house to have a meeting with him about the nukes and Dream's potential escape. Obviously, Jack Manifold has the other key cards, so for the nukes to actually be working and set off, you have to have both people involved. Tubbo tells him about how Tommy believes that Dream's going to be escaping the prison, even though it's been said that the prison is unescapable. And together they go over to the nuke warehouse and get ready to rearm the nukes and move them to a different location away from Snowchester so that if anything does happen, it doesn't obliterate. Snowchester. All, all the launch sequence, all of that is completely functional. I tested that beforehand, but what, what do you think? Do you think it's the right move to rearm these like weapons of mass destruction? Like, genuinely, should someone have this much power? Because to be so fair- We're not here to discuss the morals of this. The, the, if, if Green Man's gonna get out of prison, then we need to protect ourselves. It's as simple as yeah, that. Yeah, right? to be honest, so far, Dream and Technoblade are our biggest threats and nothing's managed to kill Dream. Dream is the only person with power on the server at the moment isn't he? He's in prison and he still has all the power. So when Jack then goes to the outskirts of Snowchester to basically clear out land and create a silo so that these missiles can be stored somewhere else. One reason for this is that they don't want Snowchester to be blown up and well the main reason for this as well is because of the baby pig man Michael. I don't think Turbo wants Michael being killed by a nuke. And now they've got the layout of the silos, they go back down into Snowchester to create a community announcements board so that everybody can come together in Snowchester for a meeting to talk about how that area will be restricted and so that nobody comes across the armed nukes. What, do we need to like have some kind of hearing? Like hearing in like Snowchester? Cause we have what, two citizens other than us? So so what, you, what do you want to do, tell them? But we weren't telling anyone. No, we want to like tell them that this is now a restricted area, kind of. Right? Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's good. That's a good idea. Yeah, we, we should wanna, do that. We, we should we, probably we should. host a hearing. And once they created the community announcements board and that's all sorted out, they go back to the nuclear warehouse to get ready for the nukes to be moved and sort everything like that. But once they walk into the warehouse, they realize that one of the nukes has gone missing. That's yeah, like this plan. is important crap, dude. This is... <gasps> what the fuck? What? Um... Uh... Where what do you mean? Where'd I put... Ja uh... Oh, only me and you in here. Where'd you put the thing? What do you mean when I put the thing? What the? I don't know. I mean, Jack, there's a little nuclear anymore. bomb missing, it? Jack. Jack. So Jack. There's always a logical explanation to this. Let's check all the chests. <laughs> You're checking all the chests. Now, having one of the nukes go missing is obviously a really big deal. But this is where Turbo goes and tells Jack that you don't actually need a key card to launch a missile. This being a lot worse of a situation. But the only good thing with this is that if somebody does launch it, it will just explode there and then. Because you actually need one of the launchers to make it go some distance. And to use a launcher, you need a key card. But to just set it off, you don't need them. There is a, there is a manual what? detonation built into every bomb, Jack. You don't need the key card. We just use the key cards for launch. You can manually- Why? That's really stupid. To actually launch a missile with range, it needs to be in a launcher. That I made key cards for. There's no loopholes there. But if you were to set it off on your own, Jack, and let's say you have to literally be there and press the button. So it is, it is a, it is a suicide like bomb, Jack. Hear me out. It's a dead man's switch, okay? So the person who detonates it is going to die. 
So Will and Jack then go on to discuss who may have stolen this nuke, because obviously nukes don't go missing on their own. They both clear out that both of them didn't take it because they would have no motive, and Jack promises that he didn't take it. But we do know that Jack still wants Tommy dead, so taking a nuke may help him, but for this case he promises that he definitely didn't take it. They go on to discuss why Rambu may have taken it, because there's been grass blocks and evidence of Rambu being in the facility recently. And as we know, Rambu going into his Enderwalk stage, he could have taken the nuke and well if he's in his enderwalk stage with a nuke I'm sure if he set it off at the prison then losing a cannon life in his enderwalk stage wouldn't really matter because it wouldn't be Rambu in control. What I remember seeing when we first walked in here was plenty of gr grass blocks. We've cleared them now plenty. but when we first oh. came in here plenty of grass oh, blocks. Oh you're right plenty of grass blocks. There were there were that loads. That would indicate blocks. that Rambu's been in here as well. So so far we know that we've been in here and Rambu's been in here. Eliminating us two he's my only suspect right now. Like, remember, we have to keep this under lock and key, okay, Jack? Nothing said in this room leaves this room. No one can hear it. With that being said, I think that was everything. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and check out the video which is on screen. It's from my second channel, and I'm sure you will enjoy it.